Around the world, people are really worried about coronavirus. You've seen people wearing masks, and you might have also seen some pictures of people's pets wearing masks. There is a difference between being infected and being infectious. And it's when you're infectious that you are capable of spreading the virus. The coronavirus has spread to countries across the world, but officials believe that it all started in Wuhan, China. It's believed that the virus may have originated from a market in the city where people can buy an assortment of wild game meat. Although it is believed that the disease was first spread by wild animals, there's no evidence yet to say that animals are carriers. It's too early to say that. At the moment, we have this one case in Hong Kong of a pet dog who has shown a weak positive result for the virus. They think perhaps this dog picked up the disease from a contaminated surface. It is, after all, living with its owner who has been diagnosed with the disease. And what we do know about this particular case is that the Pomeranian is not currently showing any symptoms and is actually meant to be in quite good health. So while this dog is showing test results that say it has the virus, that doesn't necessarily mean that it is infectious and that it can then pass it on. For the moment, probably not. Hong Kong authorities are telling people that they should definitely avoid kissing their pets. But this has meaning for everyone. Coronavirus is spreading around the world. And while the main spreader of this disease is human to human transmission, this virus is highly infectious and we really need to minimize the spread of germs. So that means maintaining distance, keeping up good hygiene, just like we've been told to do with other people. We should do the same with our animals too, because there's still so much that's unknown about how this virus spreads and how it operates. So that definitely includes avoiding kissing your pets. People are really worried about their pets and they want to do their best to protect them. You might have even seen some photos of pets with masks on. But officials have said that that's not really feasible. A dog doesn't have sweat glands and it uses its tongue to cool down, so it's really not comfortable for a dog to be wearing a mask that covers its face. And also, for humans, the advice at the moment is that masks are at their most useful if you wear them when you yourself are sick. And with pets, we've still got no evidence that COVID-19 has actually made an animal unwell. If you're worried that your pet is sick, the first thing to do is not panic. Keep up that good hygiene and maintain that distance and contact your vet for some advice as soon as you can. They're victims without a voice. As the deadly coronavirus continues, reports have emerged that pets are being abandoned. Coronavirus has been really stressful for a lot of people and there have been some reported cases of people abandoning their pets. There is absolutely no need to do that. We just need to keep up good distance practices and good hygiene. And this is how we'll limit the spread of the disease.